So on to the next test of smoothing PLA. Um, this is the original model I used from the, the first um, smoothing test and uh, as you can still hear absolute <laughs> waste of time on the first one. So this time around I thought I'd try smoothing it over with a bit of heat. I've heard uh, a heat gun can actually have um, good results so I've got a uh, heat gun sitting up here and it's just a matter of working out which nozzle I'm thinking probably that nozzle will do um, as we go into the next uh, level of smoothing and hopefully get some results out of it, some good ones. So let's get on with the experiment. It's getting a bit warm on the fingers, so there's a bit of heat going through. And uh, it looks like it has melted. But you can see it's showing the um, surface underneath. So that's the honeycomb, or well actually the square effect, popping through. So, hmm, just wondering. I think what I might go and do is I've got a... Um, what they call a reflow station and I might actually fire up the reflow station which I've got more control over the temperature on it because the glass um, transition on PLA is 60 degrees so that's smoother but I think that the the heat gun is pumping out way too much heat for the, um, to actually be of any benefit on smoothing so Give me a few seconds and I'll get a heat gun set up, or actually the reflow gun I should say. Now what I can do with um, a reflow station is I can actually adjust the temperature. Now we know that the glass transition on PLA is 60, so I'm going to set this to, we'll try 80 initially, or actually 100 it looks like, so 100 it is, it won't go below it. Well, that fixes that, and I'll just pop the little nozzle on. And here we go. So, little reflow station fired up. We're set on 100, and it'll take a couple of seconds to get up to temperature. And let's just see if we can do anything with it. You don't want to sort of run it too many times over the same area. No, really, you still hear that, it's, I'll up the temperature a fraction and uh, we'll try again. Okay, I've reset the reflow station to 150 degrees and uh, give it a couple of seconds to fire up. Doesn't take long to get to temperature and we'll try the same section again. Give it a few seconds. Hmm, okay, I'll give it a couple of seconds to cool off and uh, we'll check the print again. It does look a little smoother. It has it has actually smoothed it a fraction and uh, hasn't distorted so I might crank it up to 200 degrees and uh, We'll see what the result is then. Okay, I've got that set now to 200. Again, take a couple of seconds for the uh, reflow station to get up to temperature. Now, they're actually very, very fast for those people that don't own one. And uh, 
here we go again One thing I have noticed is that it takes away the white colour of the, um, the ethyl acetate that I used earlier. Visually it looks like it is actually doing something, so... Might stop it at that, and we'll have a look. Give it a couple of seconds to cool down, of course. Visually it looks like it actually has it has actually done something so let's try again So it actually has smoothed it a little bit So what I might do is I'll grab another benchy and uh, We'll give it a go I found another dodgy <laughs> Benchy a failure from earlier on and we're going to try again. We've got uh, untreated ridges here, so can sort of hear that so let's uh, let's give it a go we're at 250 degrees at the moment and obviously we've got to be a bit careful so I don't want to overheat it it looks like it is actually it is actually doing something I'll let that cool down a little bit it did smooth a fraction but really is it worth it my thoughts are definitely not it's a waste of time um, to buy expensive equipment just to try and heat the plastic to take out the uh, the ripples on it um, I've gone from 100 up to 250 degrees and really not a lot of uh, result it does smooth it a fraction but I wouldn't really get excited you'd still be using body filler and a bit of um, sandpaper so I'd consider this a total waste again a um, bit disappointed um, well, well we'll keep going we'll, we'll eventually get this thing smooth um, I'm convinced of that it's just a matter of uh, when and what process I'll be using thanks for watching I thought I'd grab another benchy out and give it a shot and uh, as you can see yes it has smoothed but that's at 500 degrees and to be quite honest um, basically a waste of time